Wow, what a powerful song katika mwangaza TV tumaini lako show ni utukufu naitwa Ann Lawrence na mgeni wetu wako hapa bwana Isa Sifiwe. Amina. Amen. Yeah. Karibu kwetu. Thank you. Uh-huh. Kuru sana. Kwa yes. mahali hapa mwangaza TV. Mm-hmm. Hapa ndo penyewe sasa. Tumekusubiri yeah. sana na tulikuwa tunatarajia kwamba utafika mapema kidogo lakini tunajua tu imefanyika hivyo na we just thank God. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. we give God for everything. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I can't say sorry. I'm sorry, but I thought I would get here on time. I would like to be here for a long time, but because of the time we have, we have a few minutes, and I know we can change the life of one person or two. That's right. I would like to give you the opportunity to give you the opportunity to give you the opportunity to give you the opportunity. Ah, uh, mtazamaji wetu nataka kushukuru sana. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Popote ulipo, mimi kwa majina naitwa Bedingoso. Bedingoso ni baba, na Bedingoso ni mme wa, wa, wa mke mmoja. Bedingoso ni mfanyabiashara, producer, artist na pia ni creative. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, so you are just a full package. I'm telling you. <laughs> That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So abidi ngoso watu wengi wa jina lako ni jina ambalo mtu akitaja hata ingawaje juu huyo mtu anafanya nini hasa um, ni jina ambalo linafahamika. Yeah. Na ni vizuri tukwambie kwamba pia hapa tunafurahia muziki wako awesome. na kazi unayoifanya katika huduma. So we just want to know abidi ngoso ni nani. Unajua kuna zile hearsays za huko nje ambazo watu hujitengenezea kwamba huyo ni mtu fulani, sijui ana mke, hana mke, ana watoto, hana watoto, mambo kama yale na pia katika huduma yako ya muziki. Mhm. Uh, uh, kama nilivyosema mwanzo kwamba nimeoa. Ni kweli. Uh, mme wa mke mmoja. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the same time uh, mimi ni baba uh, wa mtoto mmoja. Mm-hmm. Nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya neema yake. Na kwa kweli pia uh, mimi ni mtumishi wa Mungu, um, you know, gospel artist. Mm-hmm. And uh, I will repeat it again. The same me, but only producer and I find a production mm-hmm. um, and a kind of production like um, Ziki advertisement, mm-hmm. uh, jingo za TV, mm-hmm. kila kitu. I just do everything. Mm-hmm. And um, na hubiri kupitia nyimbo bila mm-hmm. mona hapa kwa TV. Mm-hmm. Na it has not been easy. Sure. Lakin na mshukuru mungu kwa sababu ya neema yake mm-hmm. tuko hapa. Haya, ulitangulia yeah. kufanya nini kwanza? Ulitangulia kufanya production ama ulitangulia kufanya kuimba? Uh, um, actually nilianza kuwa nilikuwa nafanya backup kama um, sauti tunaimba sauti male voice kwa mm-hmm. kwa nafanyia baba, my brother. Aitwa Ngoso alimba siku ya kufa kwangu. Mm-hmm. Mimi si fahamu. So uh, tulikuwa mimi nilikuwa nafanya mimi na brother yangu mwingine wa Dan tulikuwa tunafanyia backup Mm-hmm. and then later alone sasa nika just nikatoka baada tulipo record ile song ikafanya vizuri sasa mimi nikatoka nikaanza sasa kufanya production mm-hmm. yeah na inawezekana kuna nyimbo ambazo tunazijua ambazo produce nyingi mhm nyingi naweza kusema baba naomba mhm um, um, that is Isaac Kahora yes mm-hmm. ahadi za bwana Mario Shako mm-hmm. and uh, imefanya mingi sana zingine hata siwezi kumbuka but uh, we have <laughs> baba yeah. zinasaulika mingi mingi sana and, and so a safari yako na kuweza kubalance uh, hizo nafasi zote ambazo sio nafasi raisi kuwa wewe ni baba kwa wewe ni msanii kwa wewe ni producer na pia unafanya creatives unawezaje ku, kuweka mizani ama balance Uh, ninashukuru Mungu kwa sababu amenipatia mke mzuri hanibani sana. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see, I can just run up and down. Uh-huh. Chap, chap, by, the, by the way, uh, actually bado mimi niko upande wa uh, Kenya Association of Music Producers. Mm-hmm. Camp nafanya Camp. Pa, eh, kama director huko pia. Mm-hmm. So ninashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya zile nafasi uh, napata mm-hmm. eh, na jaribu kubalance kote kama niko na session studio Uh, na jaribu ku balance na kimbia studio nafanya nikitoka studio na kimbia meetings iko nilizo nazo kama during the day and then uh, pia kuandika nyimbo pia you know but i just want to thank god kwa sababu at least eh, amenipatia mke mzuri na nipatia nafasi pia because niko na jaribu ku 
create time for my family and mm -hmm. then the same time I create time for uh, other businesses. Awesome. Yeah. Nyimbo ambayo tumecheza um, kwanza ambayo yeah. tumefungua nayo kipindi pale. Yeah. Um unasikia kama unaimba kutokana na uchungu? Yeah, actually hiyo nyimbo nilipata wakati nilikuwa napitia mm -hmm. uh, you know I have a long story and I don't want to even to talk it about about it right now because mm -hmm. uh hiyo huo wimbo Mungu alinipatia wakati na ninakumbuka nilipofanya harusi uh, 2010. Mm -hmm. Na harusi ilikuwa mzuri and everything was okay. Mm -hmm. But before tufanya harusi kwanza nguo ya my, my wife ilipotea ya yeah, wedding ile ikapotea uh, according to me nilijua tu hiyo ni vita imeanza mm -hmm. lakini nilijua tu ni vita itaisha tu but maanisha nini gown ya harusi yes yes gown the gown mm -hmm. ilipotea mm -hmm. and uh, the kesho ni wedding na ikapotea around some bill usiku so we just ran up and down kutafuta nguo ya ya uh, at least I'm going to party at Kaifa at Kaifa on on uh, the following day since we are waiting. Mm -hmm. Na zile ngozi zina uh, shop the the the, the, the zinahaisha gowns zimefunga. Sasa ilikuwa ni challenge kubwa sana lakini um ni marafiki walinisaidia we just worked hard tukapigia pigia watu wakafungua tukaangalia kupata nguo bado nguo ni chafu tukabidi and wash it tulikuwa tunamaliza unaweza kuoshwa hiyo nguo around saa 8 usiku asubuhi <laughs> but tukasema ni sawa we went and then we did the wedding was okay um tukarudi tuka, tukamaliza harusi tukaendelea sasa katika kuendelea vile Mungu akatubariki na mimba ya kwanza eh, kufika bila, around 7 uh, months tukapoteza mtoto ah uh, it was uh, mimi nilisema ni bahati mbaya Let me just ni, 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 ni touch uh, I want to make it short stick like, man is uh, as i said this a yeah, long story ndo, yako kuwa hapa. Yeah mm -hmm. so from there a little quick mm. tuka endelea tukamshukuru Mungu tuko kila jambo katubariki tena mimba ya pili tena ilipofika pale mwezi wa saba tena mimba ika mtoto akatoa akaaga tena hivyo hivyo tena tukapata mimba ya tatu the same Um, you know ikanichanganya mimi mwenyewe nikachanganyikana nikasema sasa you know being in a, in a foreign land and, and mambo kama haya and okay ilikuwa very very hard for for us mm -hmm. but tukiendelea hapo ndo Mungu akanipatia huu wimbo anasema kimbilio langu mm -hmm. na kuna specific part hapo kwa hiyo song nilimba ni kwamba mwambie Mungu kwamba even if it's tomorrow hata kama ni kesho mm -hmm. I want you to bless me ndo niseme umenitendea mm -hmm. because uh, msaraba wa kufiwa na watoto kwanza wa pili wa tatu uh, it wasn't easy wanne kakuja uh, ikakuwa ngumu sana sana nikajua unajua watu wanakuambia mmerogwa watu wengine wanakuambia ni laana watu wengine you know because as i said in a long story you know kuna taka uniite siku nyingine nje nikupatie story vizuri because nataka tu kugusa gusa hapa na pale ndio maana sababu ya time uh, i don't want to give everything to, mm -hmm. today so nika mungu akanipatia huu wimbo nikasema mungu huu wimbo na wimba lakini kwa sababu ya yale yote ambayo nimepitia mimi nataka tu nitufanyie jambo moja unitendee jambo tu ambalo nitasema kwa marafiki mm -hmm. kwa wachungaji wangu kwa everybody I'll just say god has done this to me so katika nilipoandika huo wimbo mimi nilikuwa naandika tu roho safi kwamba ah, like, you know because, kama yeah. nilikuwa nataka kuji empty yeah nataka mm -hmm. tu kuandika tu hiyo kitu hiyo eh, ni unajua moyo wangu ulikuwa unavuja damu mm -hmm. niseme hivyo kwa sababu ilikuwa inanisumbua sana kwa sababu ilifika mahali na umwa na kichwa kuanzia saa tatu asubuhi mpaka saa tatu asubuhi kichwa inaendelea na umwa tu sasa nashindwa na ndo nasema wote wanapenda kuambia watu kama sikukufa na high blood pressure that time mm -hmm. i know i will never die mm -hmm. high blood pressure maybe mungu afanye kitu kingine lakini ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba it was a big 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 tragic for me mm -hmm. kwamba napoteza watoto mambo yangu hayendi na umwa na kichwa so wakati nimeandika huu wimbo kidogo tena mungu akatubariki na mimba nyingine mm -hmm. sasa mimi nikarelease wimbo before before mm -hmm. mtoto azaliwe. Mhm. Mm song kusema kweli mbele ya Mungu akani surprise. Mm -hmm. I was so shocked. Everybody I, 
you know wimbo ulilipuka mm -hmm. na nikaambia Mungu kwa sababu wimbo umelipuka sasa usiniaibishe mm -hmm. na Mungu na yeye kwa kweli Mungu huaibishi so when uh, tukangojea tu ile mimba ikakuwa ikakuwa uh, kwanza wa pili watatu wanne watano akana kumbuka wakati na release hiyo song mimba ilikuwa ni miezi around tatu mm -hmm. Na nikaanza kupokea simu wimbo unatubariki wimbo umeniponya wimbo ume, na, unaona vile Mungu anafanya and it was for me nikasema Mungu kama kuna wimbo unaponya watu mm -hmm. na kama wimbo unabariki watu mm -hmm. usiniache hivyo usiniache hivyo kwa kweli maana my wife alikuwa ame give up anasema eh mambo ya watoto atazaa ah, tena mm -hmm. Hata hiyo mimba tulikuwa nayo haku alikuwa hata hana hiyo imani alikuwa na doubt anasema hata hii kwa sababu amezoea mimba ya kwanza pili ya tatu ya nne ya tano inakuja hakuna hata hii ana hata hiyo anajua tu hata hiyo lakini nikamwambia nikamwambia tuamini Mungu tuone hii round Mungu atafanya nini mm -hmm. As I talk to you right now I have a beautiful baby girl Yaani uh, you know Mungu alitubariki na msichana mrembo sana kiasi kwamba Eh, siku sijawahi amini kwa macho yangu. Wewe nikiona wewe mtu anajua Mungu kweli wewe uko. So Mungu akajibu according to what I was talking to him I was, uh, because I decided to talk to God. Pa hiyo party inakuambia specific ni kwa njia ya na Mungu direct. Sitaki mm -hmm. kupitia anybody. Mm -hmm. Nikamwambia Mungu hata kama ni kesho nataka tu nibariki. That's, that's was straight. Mm -hmm. Naongea na Mungu anibariki. Mm -hmm. Kwa kweli Mungu akanibariki na msana mrembo ambaye sasa ako na miaka anaingia uh, June 26 atakuwa miaka 5. Amen. Sio ni utukufu wa Bwana. Utukufu What can we say? We can just thank God. Uh -huh. Na unajua kuna mahali hapa hapa ameniguza yeah. kwa sababu uh, wakati ambapo um, mama ama mwanamke yeyote anasema kwamba amechoka. Mm -hmm. Hakika huwa amechoka. Uh -huh. Na inabidi tu Mungu aingilie na tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu yenu yeah. wewe pamoja na mke wako mm -hmm. na pia pamoja na huo muujiza. Tunaweza yeah. tu kuita muujiza mm -hmm. katika mtoto. Yeah. Na huo ulikuwa wimbo wako wa kwanza ambao uliachilia ama ulikuwa ulikuwa wimbo namba ngapi? Huu ulikuwa ni wimbo namba ah ni kwa wimbo karibu wimbo namba kumi na kitu. Kwa sababu wa kwanza kabisa ni waachilie nasema eh, Yesu ndiye msaada wangu wa karibu kwa yote nayopitia maana mimi siawezi haya yote ni wewe 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 so that's the song i, I just uh, actually god put that song in my heart mm -hmm. and i was like mm -hmm. it was the first song i did still your song it in the surprise it fanya vizuri nilimshirikisha dadangu sarake mhm and we did the song na song it fanya vizuri just it cut across everywhere na ikafungua milango mingi sana. Na huu wimbo unasikika kama kwamba umekuwa sasa wimbo wa madhabahu. Yaani unaweza unatumika makanisani wakati watu wanawabudu katika ibada. Yeah. Na eh, wakati ambapo msanii amefanya wimbo kama ule ambao anausikia, ukiingia mahali unaweza pata hata kanisa wanaabudu nao na maybe hawajui yeah. hata mwenye kuandika na kuimba ni wewe. How do you feel? Uh, to me you see to me it has become um, normal because um, ninasikia vizuri kwa sababu jina la Yesu linainuliwa mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. that song. Mm -hmm. So ile nasema tu pale ni utukufu kwa Bwana kwa sababu Mungu usingenipatia wimbo hata usingeimbo kule madabahuni. Ni kweli. Yeah. Kwa yes. Awesome. Na tuko tu nafasi uh, uweze kuabudu Mungu mahali ulipo. Mahali ambapo unasikiza it's good hata kama uh, tuko katika runinga hapa na hii ni interview unaweza abudu Mungu na ukapokea pia mujiza wako kwa sababu Mungu wetu hana limit hana viwango kwamba hawezi kutembea hata katika runinga kama hii anaweza kukutembelea na akakupatia mujiza wako wewe ambao na ungana nasi kwa sasa hivi this is Mwangaza TV utukufu show na Mwangaza TV ni tumaini lako kwa hivyo tuko hapa kuhakikisha kwamba umepata tumaini na mambo yote ambayo yamekusukuma yamekusonga katika kona moja unasikia kwamba hauwezi tena umekata tamaa siku ya leo tunakwambia kwamba kuna uh, kuamka tena unaweza kuinuka tena kwa sababu Biblia inasema kwamba unaweza kuinuka tena na siku ya leo tuko na mgeni kwa jina Abedi Ngoso ambaye ni producer 
ni mwanamuziki ni baba ni vitu vingi yani Mungu amemnemesha katika neema tofauti tofauti ako hapa na ushuhuda wake tayari umeniguza mimi personal sijui kama umeguzwa na unaweza kuandika katika 2914 na pia pale Mwangaza TV nitakuwa naangalia feedback tunapoendelea Abedi yeah sasa kwa sasa hivi unafanya nini unafanya production sijaskia ume release wimbo mpya of late Um, <coughs> let me say this um, you see uh, si, mimi mimi sua si release song kwa sababu ya ku entertain mtu mm -hmm. uh, i mm -hmm. will rather go and, and talk to god mwambie mungu round hii sina message mm -hmm. what, what do i do because uh, i have the studio i have the voice i have i can write i can do everything but you see i take my time before mm -hmm. uh, i release a song lazima tu ni kwanza nimlilie mungu nimuulize mungu ni mbo gani so sijatoa huu muda wote but niko jikoni bado i'm cooking mm -hmm. soon uh, watapata kitu kingine kizuri kinakuja so yeah. ni, ni kama kumaanisha kwamba mziki wako hasa mungu kutumia uh, kutu, uh, kupitia maisha yako maybe mambo unayoyapitia your personal experiences and he gives you a message yes because you see uh, uh, going through all this mm -hmm. i've learned a lot and, mm -hmm. and uh, Um, in ministry you don't run because you are you nataka kupata hilo jina unataka kuwa star unataka kuwa you know you, you i usually have learned to take my time mm -hmm. um, you know yani nataka tu Mungu aniongoze bila pindavyo mm -hmm. anifikishe penye anataka kunifikisha mm -hmm. so i usually take my time that's why i don't run But imagine as i said i have all this studio i have the voice i can write a song i can ninge singe kwa na don't na release song kila kila every day actually mm -hmm. because i have all this all these things so uh, i take my time to, to do a song yeah now um venye nimeangalia ama kulingana na jinsi ambavyo nimeweza kufuatilia muziki wako yeah. wakati ambapo mlikuwa mnaanza muziki pale hata sarekei alikuwa mchanga mchanga pia mm -hmm. na sijui kama wewe kama producer yeah. na pia ni mwanamuziki yeah. kuna utofauti gani wa production za siku hizi na pia mitindo yetu kama waimbaji wa nyimbo za gospel a uh, shida yetu kuna nayo saizi um I, i will just tell you the truth tell me the truth <laughs> shida tu yona saizi <laughs> wasanii wanataka kuwa mastar mm -hmm. you know that's it hawajui kwamba star ni Yesu peke yake mm -hmm. you understand because anataka kuja studio niambie nifanye nyimbo kama ya Anne mm -hmm. because ati Mungu kwa sababu Mungu alibariki nyimbo yako imejulikana pale mm -hmm. na yeye anataka kuja nimfanyie kama yako mm -hmm. so at the end of the day you are not working we not taking our time to work hard mm -hmm. kuarrange song ikae vizuri tuje na na ile idea kwamba Anne alitengeneza nyimbo yake imehit iko pale mm -hmm. na wewe ni kutengenezea nyimbo nyingine pia mm -hmm. ifanye vizuri kama hiyo so mm -hmm. wewe yeye anakuja na ile mentality ya kusema ah kama Anne alihit na mimi nataka nije nitengeneze nifanye ni, huyu abedi nifanye kama ya yule mm -hmm. so the end of the day nikifanya niki kama ya yule mm -hmm. hakuna kitu nafanya You understand mm -hmm. so wamepotea watu wanataka kufanya kwa sababu ya fame wanataka kufanya kwa sababu ya ni kazi ya Mungu mm -hmm. yes yeah. na unajua unaposema hivyo napata pia kuna changamoto mm -hmm. kando na sisi ambao ni wasanii yeah. kuna changamoto pia kwenu kama producers kwa sababu shortcut uh, producers they don't want to be creative unaweza kupata nyimbo hapa zimecheza nyimbo tatu zimefuatana ama nyimbo tano uh, producers tofauti tofauti ama producer mmoja lakini idea ni the same Yeah because they don't take uh, enough time to create. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, sometimes I, I, I will answer that na na njia hivi kwamba mtu amekuja kwako hana pesa kwanza number one, mm -hmm. yeah, produce. Mm -hmm. Pili anataka tu ku produce na hata song yake hata haina content. Three you the producer atatumia tu ile uh, we call uh, you know cut pest. Mm -hmm. Yana ametengeneza ile beat yenye kutengenezea nayo na toa zile instrument na bakisha ile beat naweka hiyo beat kwa kwa yule mwingine mm -hmm. na, na jenga tu sasa ile muziki kidogo na mbili naingia hiyo iko sawa. Nakupea song tumemaliza biashara. So the end of the day hakuna creativity imefanyika pale. Mm -hmm. Imefanya tu kwa sababu I, I needed the you know the, the small money you, you had that time. Mm -hmm. Lakini sija kachini nifanye kazi ambayo unajua kitambo watu wanafanya kazi kusema kweli let me say the truth kitambo watu wanafanya wanafanya kazi nzuri mm -hmm. kwa sababu walikuwa na take time mm -hmm. na wasanii walikuwa wana, wanalipa mhm mm understand wanalipa sasa hizi unajua sasa tukienda anywhere utapata studio of 1500 umerecord umetoka na songo yako na umeenda lakini the end of the day ukikaa vizuri usikize utasikia kuna kikohozi mtu amekohoa huko haijatolewa kwa kwa kwa, kwa, kwa so. so that's the problem you know what i mean because Eh, wazungu wanasema cheap 
is expensive so akikuletea hapa wewe mm. kama producer unamwambia ai kama unaelewa saa uh, unaelewa kodi tutamwambia hii song bado unaweza kwenda kuirecord sana ama umix ama kuna there's something hai hey, hey, hey. mm-hmm. lakini sasa kwa sababu wale producer wengine hawaelewi mm. i mean inaenda hivyo na inakuwa hivyo sasa abedi yeah msanii wa leo atawezaje kufanya muziki uwe um, ni hudma mm-hmm. na pia apate lishe kutokana na muziki wake Uh, najua nikisema kwamba wasanii wana, wanakimbia sana they wako na hiyo pressure kukimbia sana mm. but if they will if they take their time mm-hmm. kwanza number one, wamuombe Mungu awapatie mm-hmm. message mm-hmm. maana content is very important kwa song mm-hmm. hiyo ikuwe number one, upewe content kwa song yako number two, uende to the right producer mm-hmm. number three, uimbe vizuri I mean, you, you will achieve whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Yes. Utaifanya ikiwa huduma na pia itakupa lishe. Maana umeomba mm-hmm. na Mungu amekupatia content. Mm-hmm. Na kutoka pale kwa maombi umekuja kwa producer na Mungu amekuonja the right producer. Mm-hmm. Number three, umeimba vizuri na roho yako moja. Usiimbe kama copy paste ya yule, mm-hmm. ah imba kama wewe. Mm-hmm. Ndio nijue huyu yule ni an. Mm-hmm hata kama ani uko na sauti ya huko juu ama uko ya chini ama uko ya katikati imba na hiyo sauti uh-huh. si utajua huyo ni ani because the end of the day utaanza kumenta in case labda song yako ifanye vizuri kwa media uh-huh. ama ifanye vizuri huko nje utamenta pia wengine huko chini sasa uh-huh. ukiwa imbia ile maembe ama ile matope umeimba pale una utatusaidia aje <laughs> So unajua una, unafanya ni ni kwame sana kwa production kwa sababu hapo ndipo mziki unazaliwa hata yeah. nikiwa nina ujumbe ambao Mungu alinipa maybe kwa ndoto mm. ama nikasikia sauti huo mziki wangu unahitaji producer mzuri yani mm. yeye ndiye midwife ili ule mziki wangu ukaweza kuzaliwa jinsi ambavyo Mungu anafaa uh, Mungu amekusudia na nina swali hapo kwa sababu um, wasanii wengi hata katika mitandao huwa wanaandika wanauliza wasanii wengine wengine wananiuliza nitaenda kwa producer upi ili niweze ku produce bimbo wangu yeah. na sijui wewe kama producer unaweza kutuelekeza utuambie je producer yeyote anaweza ku produce bimbo wote ama kuna producer ambaye ako sawa na hii na hayuko sawa na hii that's why i said mwanzo nilisema hivi mm. saa hizi hapa mjini mm. kuna studios zinalipisha 1500 na 500 mm. kwenda juu F2, F3, F4, F5 mpaka 50,000. So nikakwambia always cheap is expensive. Mm-hmm. Why? Mm-hmm. Nimeenda nimerecord na hiyo ya 1500 mm-hmm. for example. Mm-hmm. Lakini nimefukwanza nimefanywa haraka haraka. Alafu nimepewa kazi yangu enda. Na sasa katika hiyo kazi nimepewa kuna makosa ndani. Mm-hmm. Siwezi enda rudi pale maana hata nitaambiwa ah. Sasa si hata pesa yako ilikuwa ni ile aza toku toku ya hiyo tulimaliza mm-hmm. so mimi nasema hivi popote pale leo hii an ukienda kwa butchery utajua nyama hii ni kinunua hii hata kama ni kilo moja ni 400 ama 500 lakini ni nyama nzuri mm-hmm. utakula na utashiba na utafurahia you mm-hmm. enjoy the food mm-hmm. that's ni wewe mwenyewe uchague useme mimi acha nienda kwa producer mzuri mm-hmm ni rekodiwe hata kama nitalipa hii amount lakini nataka kitu kizuri mm-hmm. that's what i'm trying to say oh goodness yeah. na yeah. sijui kama tutaanza tuangalie feedback kwa sababu hapo sasa ndio maneno iko unajua mm-hmm. wakati ambapo mziki unaletwa katika media house kitu cha kwanza tunasema quality yeah quality yeah. na huwezi kufanya quality video kama hujafanya quality audio, audio. Yeah. so it all starts pale katika production ya yeah. audio yeah. alafu sasa unaenda to the next level ya yeah. production ya video yeah. so tumekuwa na challenge na conflict kubwa sana kati ya sisi ambao, ambao tuna host na pia tunacheza hii muziki katika televisheni na radio kwamba msanii um, anataka kusukuma mziki wake uchezwe lakini quality haijafika yeah. quality haiko yeah. 
So wacha kidogo tu tujue ni kina nani ambao wanatufuata kwa sababu Masai tu wamekimbia Stella Mutugi asante sana unasema Kagio represented Anne Karegu unasema in Sami Kinyozi asante sana kutoka Nyahururu Sheila Nyasigobre unasema hapa ndo nyumbani you are so blessed asante Jalo Mwala unasema morning and show iko sawa kabisa i'm watching from Wathia Moa Hills Machakos unasema salimia mgeni sana ajitie moyo Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu and Joseph Asante unasema pamoja Grace Sunrise Kangemi unasema ndani na wengi ambao wanasema kwamba unawabariki na hasa ushuhuda wako huu ambao umetupatia umejenga wengi sana Abedi mm. ukiangalia hivi mm. kwa sababu wewe Mungu amekupa macho mm. na mikono yako imepitia watu wengi mm. na unaweza kuongea kama mtu ambaye um, Mungu amemnehemesha katika music ministry yeah. tunaenda wapi Um, kama tunaenda wapi kama kama waimbaji mhm ah mm uh, kusema kweli um ndasema hivi kwenye tunaenda mm -hmm. tukienda na hii pesa tunayo sasa hizi ya haraka haraka hii hatutafika mm -hmm. popote mhm mm lakini if we remember that kuna ye Mungu ambaye tunaweza kumlilia na atupatie melody nzuri mm -hmm. na atupatie maproduza wazuri mm -hmm. na atupatie video nzuri mm -hmm. na tufanye kazi nzuri mm -hmm. na tusioneane mawivu na ma, 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 ma uchoyo na tabia mbaya zinaweza kuchukia wenzako mm -hmm. tutaenda mbali sana wow yeah. so um tumekuwa tukiona trend ambayo ni imekuwa imeendelea ku yani inaendelea katika music ministry yeah. ya live Uh, ministration ama live uh, production kati ambapo waibaji wengi wameenda ile njia ya bands na wana produce mziki wao live is that the way to go ama tutakaa katika you, you see, uh, actually on that i will say this because you see um, Kenya tume, tumekuwa tukifanya playback mm -hmm. and our playback to me si, si mzuri mm -hmm. because you see um, maybe you find a company imekuita unaenda unatumia playback na company ndio imekulipa pesa mingi but if you do you go with a band mm -hmm. that's the way to go because band inakusaidia unafanya mziki live mm -hmm. na tukienda kwa upande wa live that's how we know ah huyu ni an an anaweza ka deliver live huyu <laughs> ni abed anaweza ka deliver live sasa hapo ndo tunajuanga sasa eh, 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 uzaifu ya, ya mwimbaji mm -hmm. kwamba huyu ana deliver ama yuko vipi so for me Uh, na by the way actually ukiwa na band na kufanya unaiva una haraka kwa sababu hata kama hujui kuimba mm. if you continue doing it doing it doing it the end of the day utakuwa na, na sasa si hiyo basi italeta mchujo of course i think that's how we are hapo ndo tunaelekea na tuko karibu kufika hapo kwenye mchujo kwa sababu tunakuwa uta, 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 uta unaenda kwa madhabahu pale sisi tunakaa hapa sasa utuimbie hayo maembe Amo tumbi hayo matope sitajua sasa kama kumbe huyu ni ni CD umma producer ndo anasaidianga huyu mmm amemwekea auto tune eh bwana bwana hii ameshindwa umeelewa so mi hata kwanza i'm very very happy because huko kuna tunaenda huko ndo mchuju utafanyika vizuri sana roho safi hata bila kungangana you know yeah so umesema kwamba tu kuna kuna muziki ambao bwana anakusaidia kutengeneza na hivi karibuni utakuwa unaachilia ya actually nafanya EP EP ni ni album Uh, niko karibu kumaliza album ya nyimbo 17. Mm -hmm. Ya niko studio ndo namalizia malizia sasa nimebasha kama nyimbo maybe 3 and abi bye bye next month uh, katikati nitakuwa nimemaliza album mm -hmm. ya yeah, 17 songs and then sasa nianze sasa video maybe nianze kulilize sasa song by song mm -hmm. back to back yeah mm -hmm. yes haya ningependa tupate kupeana your parting shot katika hii kamera alafu baada ya hapo uh, ama unapopeana parting shot utatuambia wapi wa, wa tunaweza kupata miziki yako okay. katika YouTube na pia your social handles okay mm -hmm. uh, nimesema hivi <laughs> niko na testimony kubwa sana it's like 2 uh, 3 hours <laughs> i know na saa hii tu nimejaribu tu kugusa gusa penye yani tu huwa sipendi kugusa nitakanga mtu akinihoji anani nampatia the fact bila mm -hmm. kuli happen mm -hmm. but i want to say this maybe kuna mtu yuko hapo mwenye anapitia vile mimi nimepitia lakini nataka kusema hivi kama Mungu alinibariki na wewe atakubariki
Amen. Usiku, usife moyo wala usivunjike moyo na usijaribu usi, usi, hata kumtukana Mungu kwa sababu maybe Mungu amechelewa kukubariki a uh-uh, the time is coming. And the Bible says God's time is the best. Tulia tu na msubiri Mungu atakutendea. Jinsi alivyo nitendea hata watakubariki. Mm-hmm. Because najua kuna wengi wanapitia the same vile nilivyopitia. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo nataka kutia moyo asubuhi ya leo ujue tu kwamba Mungu wako anakuja. Asubuhi yako inakuja. Uh, kama producer uh, ukitaka kurekodi njo niko pale mjini pale karibu uh, Jibanji Garden Moy Avenue Arcade House niko first floor namba yangu ya simu ni 0720951777 0720951777 Twitter sina <laughs> Facebook niko nayo Abedi Ngoso <laughs> Instagram abedi mgoso <laughs> lakini sana sana nataka kitu kimoja mtazamaji nataka muelewe kitu kimoja mm-hmm. tunahitaji sana 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 support zenu katika YouTube channel zetu muende subscribe abedi mgoso gamba ukaandika tu abedi mgoso utakuletea abedi zote utapata niko pale gamba production maana nimesainiwa na gamba production so kitafuta pale kuna songs zangu zote kuna kimbilio kuna salama kuna mimi siawezi na zingine zingine zenye nataka kulilize next month zote tutapata pale Abedi Ngoso ama Gamba Production. Ukiingia tu YouTube Abedi Ngoso ama Gamba Production utapata mm-hmm. pale. Mm-hmm. Yes. Next time ukija tutakuwa na nafasi nzuri tuweze kupata wewe ushuhuda vizuri sana sana sana. Yeah. And your beautiful wife. Um salimie sana. Nataka kutoa salamu mm-hmm. mali. Nataka kutoa. Yeah, wacha nitume salamu. Wewe umekuwa mluya. Hata nitume salamu. Sawa, tuma basi. <laughs> Nataka kutuma salamu kwa my beautiful wife. Popote alipo. Uh, and then mwambie nampenda. <laughs> <laughs> Number two to my beautiful daughter Tendai Tamina Ngoso mwambieni ako shule mwambie baba papa loves you very much Miracle tuko naye producer mwenzangu studio na Malak God bless you guys na wengine na wapenda Asante yeah, yeah, yeah. Nashukuru tu sana na um, tutapata nafasi nyingine I promise you that hata kama tutakutafuta sisi kama mwangaza mahali utakuwa tutakuja mm. hapo mm. ili tuweze kupata ushuhuda huo si wako ushuhuda huo ni wa hawa ambao wanatazama na ambao watatazama baadaye ili mtu ajue kwamba wakati ambapo unapitia yeah. wakati ambapo una kinyoa kikombe yeah. haitakuwa milele yes. ati kwamba utanyoa kikombe hadi kifo pana kuna wakati ambapo Mungu anabadilisha mm. na anatia ladha katika maisha na una, unaishi kama wengine ambao wanafurahia so thank you so much may the Lord bless you Tuna appreciate hata wewe ambao unatazama pale wewe ambao umeweza kutuandikia katika mitandao yetu na uh, pia katika arafa zetu vizuri au uh, kwamba tunakuheshimu na tunakupenda asante kwa kuchagua runinga ya Mwangaza TV tumaini lako naitwa Anne Lawrence